Hey YouTubers, this is Gopher Bob on the Gopher Bob channel, and today we're doing a review of set number 76081, the Milano versus the Abelisk. Alright, so there's the minifigs that you get. You get five. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Let's have a look on the back of the box. We got some uh, action shots there, some pictures of what the set can do. Um, picture there, picture there, and a picture there. But that is it. All right, now let's have a look inside the box. Okay, first up, we have the pieces, spare pieces. No, it was interesting to get that piece there with this set. I don't know how, it's not in the inventory, but that piece there came with it. So let me know if uh, that happened with you guys out there. But anyway, this uh, piece count, um, the spare pieces. All right, put that in there. This is the comic book that came with it. That has all the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy sets and uh, interactive you can mimic these there we go that's them there sticker sheet of course it is what it is it's two booklets number one this one I guess you are building the abelisk which is this monster right here 50 steps to get to that this one's uh, mechanical, it's got some cogs and gears and things like that. So that's that one. And then we got the big chunky second booklet, which you're building the Milano. There we go, three bags with that. And ultimately, you're doing it in. Uh, 117 steps right there okay that's the final one there there's some action shots piece count in the back pages absolutely and there is the other sets it's only three sets come with this wave maybe there'll be more not too sure but um, yeah, that's that, and then the back page of that. Alright, so anyway, let's put that there. Let's get to. Whoa, let's have a mini face. Alright, there's Groot, baby Groot. He's got some printing on him, very cool, and some attachments there. He's got no printing on his torso, nor does he have an alternate face print. He's just baby Groot, and that's it. So he's happy. And as you can see, you probably see the smile on his face. All right, that's him. Next one along, Nebula. Okay, he's got some cool printing on the torso there, and on the back, at the back of his head as well. Nothing on the legs though. So, yeah, all right, and then you have, no, we won't do her. We will do Drax. He's cool with these knives. He's got some printing on his arms as well as the back. And his torso and his legs. So, there we go. And back of his head as well. All right, and a jetpack. All right, and let's go to Star Lord. Star Lord's got some nice printing on his legs, torso. He's got an angry face and a happy face. Now he does have, when he takes off his mask, he's got a hairpiece to go there. Okay, so you can take that off and put on his mask. All right, or his helmet, whatever you want to call it. Nice printing on his legs, of course. And no printing on his arms or anything else. 
All right, and then we come to Gamora. Nice printing on the legs. No printing on the arms. Yes, rear printing. And she has a rear alternate face print, right? Now, what I like about this piece here is this. The detail in the hair piece, those streaks of purple. I think that looks really cool. I really do, I think it does. But anyway, that's my view on that and it just sits nicely on her there. Very, very nice. All right. Anyway, moving on from that, let's go to the Avalisk. This is the monster with tentacles. Can move, you can move that around. It's got the gears to move it. And the mouth open and close, the teeth are there now the eye is a printed piece full size a printed piece but you got a sticker there sticker there um where else is there a sticker sticker there that's really it. oh no sticker there and one on the other side as well sticker there but yeah it's kind of cool you move the arms around tentacles kind of cool Alright, moving along to the Milano. Now, I never got the first Milano, so this is my first Milano set, the uh, the first wave. I do have one set in the uh, first wave. I haven't built it yet, but um, I don't have the Milano. But anyway, moving along. Alright, now I do like this. I do regret not getting the first uh, Milano, but I do like this one. This is um, kind of cool. It's... Uh, it's just nice. It just the color coordination is really nice. Um, underneath, there it is. There, there's the back. So if you're oh, flying it around, and uh, ah, yes, a piece dropped. So gotta watch that. Stick that back on. All right, there we go. Now, these pieces move. All right. Flaps. Um, that moves. It's on a bolt joint. And these pieces here can go with different things and they move as well. There's limited movement with these ones because they're close together, but it still moves. All right, these can move up and down slightly. And the cockpit opens up as well, which is kind of cool. All right, that's a nice piece of cockpit that's printed on there. That's really nice. Now, stickers, that's a sticker. That's a sticker. Sticker, sticker. Uh, that's a sticker. Uh, that one's a sticker. Um, where else are the stickers? I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 that's right. That's right. Nope. Stickers in there. One that side, that side. And that one there is a sticker. So, but still, it's a cool piece. Uh, nice ship. Definitely. Landing gear. Um, it is, it's nice. I do like it. I like the color. Uh, con, you know, the colors on it, the orange and blue, looks really nice with a gray. Looks really nice. So, that's it, guys. Um, I would recommend you get this if you haven't got one already. But, um, yeah, totally up to you. Anyway, that is it. Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you. Uh, five mini pigs and 460 pieces. 460 pieces and five mini figs with this, obviously, with the front. So it, it's a good value set for what it is. Um, I can't compare anything because I don't have the first Milano, but it's a cool set. You got the shooters up the top there. All right. Anyway, guys, um, thanks enough for watching, and we will catch you next time. Thank you.